Hello Taurus, welcome to your tarot reading. My name is Isabel. Today we're going to be discussing what you can expect in love for the month of May 2018. So if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, I would appreciate it if you do. You can do so by clicking the red subscribe button. And if you would like a tarot card reading, you can get one at the tarotempress.com. Some of my tarot readings have already completely sold out. So if you would like a tarot card reading, you should definitely get one as soon as possible before they sell out. So you are going through some form of conflict and you are going through a difficult time or you're going to be going through a difficult time in May 2018. Some of you are going to be having minor arguments, very passionate exchanges. There's going to be a difference of opinion between individuals. So you're going to have a little bit of a struggle in the month of May. So in the challenges position, we have the world tarot card. You are going to be struggling to have this new beginning, struggling to have change. You could be resisting change. You could be trying to push it away, trying not to deal with it. In the goal position, we have the king of cups tarot card in reverse position. You could be dealing with um, a water sign. It could be a cancer, Pisces or Scorpio, or you could be dealing with a man that is not in control of his emotions. So he's emotional unbalanced. He's the type of person that is closed off. He doesn't want to deal with his feelings. He doesn't want to talk about things. He could be going through a really bad patch. He could be drinking. He could be going through this time in which he's unable to process his emotions. Root of the issue, Six of Swords tarot card, clearly indicating that someone wants to leave the situation. Someone wants to get away from this person for some reason or the other. In the past, we have the Seven of Swords tarot card in reverse. Someone got caught in the act of doing something either really bad or basically misbehaving. So someone was either trying to be on their own or trying to betray you behind your back or do something that was really shady and they got caught out. What's coming towards you, the Wheel of Fortune tarot card, in indicating that you do have a lot of changes coming in your direction. All of this is linked to fate and destiny. You're seeing yourself as the Seven of Pentacles tarot card in reverse. You're at a point in which you have given up on this relationship, so you don't see it going any further than it already has. Three of Wands tarot card in the external influences, you are looking towards the future to see what it can bring towards you. So you are surveying the landscape, you are evaluating your options. Hopes and fears, temperance tarot card, you are remaining really patient during this period. You are in this zone in which you want to have more harmony come into your life. You are not rushing into a relationship that could be one of your hopes that you are hoping to have in your life. Ten of Wands tarot card in the outcome position, indicating that you're going to feel a little bit burdened in May 2018 as a result of the dynamic that is occurring here. The Ten of Wands can also be linked to the Wheel of Fortune, indicating here that you are feeling challenged in the sense of this new big change that is coming into your life. So let's find out what's going on in this person's life, whomever you're dealing with. What are the type of energies are they going through? What are their hopes and fears? What's going on with them? So let me just move these tarot cards a bit so we can deal with their energies. 
first tarot card I have for you, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So if they have any intention of making an offer to you, they're going to be taking their time. Uh, the Knight of Pentacles represents an energy that moves very slowly, that is very contemplative, someone that pauses and reflects along the way, someone who takes their time to basically process things. In the Challenges position, we have the Two of Wands indicating that they are challenged in the sense of making a decision. So they are struggling to make up their minds on something. Now, in the position of the Gold Tarot card, we have the Knight of Cups Tarot card, and he is in reverse position. So that's telling me that they're very hesitant to actually make an offer towards you. They're holding back their feelings. They're holding back the love that they feel towards you for some reason or the other. In the root of the issue, we have the Ten of Swords tarot card indicating an ending. So they are struggling with this ending that is imminent or on the horizon in terms of May 2018. They're struggling to process what's going on in this relationship. They are not wanting to let you go. And in the past, we have the Three of Wands tarot card. So they were looking forward to a future with you. They were expecting to have some sort of actual tangible relationship that resulted in a happy ending. The Four of Swords tarot card is indicating the Four of Swords tarot card is indicating in the future position that they are going to be taking a break from this relationship. They're going to be recharging their batteries, taking some time out to think on a deeper level. The Justice Tarot card is in the position of um, their attitude and it is suggesting to me that a lot of them are looking back at their actions and seeing how it has affected the outcome of the situation. The Justice Tarot card is telling me that they're trying to gain some form of balance and fairness in their life and their approach towards you. Yes, yeah, so in the external influences, we have the Three of Cups. So this individual could be out and about. He could be partying, he could be engaging with another individual, this could be a third party situation. They could be concentrating on socializing, having fun, meeting other individuals. Yeah, so in the hopes and fears, they have the King of Swords tarot card indicating that they are hoping to be more in control of their emotions. So they want to approach the situation from an intellectual point of view. They don't want their emotions to get into the mix of things. And then in the outcome, they have the High Priestess Tarot card. The High Priestess Tarot card can suggest inaction. They're planning on not making any moves, and they don't have any intention of reaching out to you. So that sums up their overall energy. Let's talk about the outcome for them. For the two of you, actually. What is the outcome for Taurus in the month of May 2018? Taurus and their lovers, their ex-lovers, their potential lovers. What is the outcome for them? For a lot of you, with those two tarot card readings put into perspective, things have come to a standstill. So there's very little movement in terms of your love life, and I feel like that's going to carry through in May 2018. I feel like someone is going to be focused on other things, focused on socializing, focused on work, you know, focused on you know, not opening up, being closed off. Let's see what the outcome tarot cards have to say. Two of Pentacles indicating again, someone is juggling the situation, they're juggling choices, they are unable to make up their mind. This is in the outcome tarot card, bear in mind. So that's showing you that this situation is still going to remain un unresolved. And then we have the Ace of Coins tarot card, which is suggesting 
that a new beginning is on the horizon as well as the fact that new offer could come along and it might not necessarily be from this individual although it can be from this individual. The Empress Tarot card indicating that you have the potential to build something and you have to be more nurturing, loving and caring towards the situation if you want it to work. Ace of Swords, you are going to be getting communication. This could be around the end of May. The Magician Tarot card, you have the power to create the situation that you want to manifest in your life. The Magician Tarot card is emphasizing the need for you to take control of your life, to understand where you are responsible for your own destiny. The Five of Wands is indicating the potential of arguments and sort of miscommunication with this individual, so be careful of that. Be careful that you are not engaging in minor disagreements. The Chariot Tarot card is indicating movement. So I feel like after that entire period of stagnation and things not working out, that you are going to have some sort of solace in the situation. Now, in the bottom of the deck, I have the Death Tarot card, which is indicating changes and transformations that are coming into your life. So definitely pay attention to that. And the fact of the matter here is that we have four major arcana tarot cards indicating big changes that are coming into your life. More than just that, we have two ace, aces here. We have the ace of coins and the ace of swords. So communication, new offers, new possibilities coming into your life. For some of you guys, the Empress tarot card can symbolize fertility. So pay attention to that. So I hope you enjoyed your tarot card reading. If you would like a personal tarot card reading, you can get one at the tarotempress.com. Remember to subscribe and to like this channel. I'll see you soon. Take care.